Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Swistak. Jordan Weber's mother is speaking out tonight against former U.S. Olympic gymnastics coach John Gettert. This just one day after police raided his home and former gymnastics club. Maureen Halliday has the latest. Well, I was encouraged to think that um, there's still a chance that justice is going to be served. As a mother over the years with um, uh, dealing with John as the coach, I have been I was concerned about um, many things over the years. Tuesday, the Attorney General's Office and Michigan State Police raided the home and gym of former Olympic gymnast coach John Gettert. And although there are reports that police are looking for financial records and documents, it's how he allegedly treated the athletes and how much, if any, information did he know about Larry Nasser's abuse. Knocking uh, some of the athletes off uh, the uh, equipment that they participate on intentionally, uh, some that have had their foot stomped on, uh, water bottles uh, having been thrown at them. girl that spoke to me talked about him li literally dragging her off, uh, picking her up off the floor, uh, forcing her to participate. By the time she got to the doctor, shortly after, uh, she was told that uh, she was lucky that she wasn't paralyzed. In 2018, Gettert stepped back from managing Twist Stars and handed it over to his wife, Catherine. I reached out to the Michigan Department of Licensing and Affairs who said they didn't see any red flags when they switched management. But Middleman, who represents 112 of Nasser survivors, said he believes Gettert had a bigger role in the abuse. He was a bully, and the girls were afraid of him. Nasser would go to them uh, and uh, say, you know, John just wants the, the, the best for you. And that was Maureen Halliday reporting. The Attorney General's office is not commenting on the investigation until it's completed. Gettert's attorney also had no comment. No charges have been filed against Gettert, although the gym he formerly owned is named in dozens of lawsuits.